Dan here from Sure PT. Getting all prepared for a Sunday trip. I got some folks coming from work and giving them a ride, and I just want to go out on Lake Winnebago and make sure that it's worth their drive. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the Sherpa all loaded up, and then we are going to go to Lake Winnebago to check out what the ice conditions are. We will see. We got the snowmobile back home again. Old Betsy Lou here has been warming up. Throw her in reverse. doing this every time. Look at that stump. Up about, what, two feet maybe, a foot. Just drive right over it. Doesn't even matter. Might be a little bit tricky over here. We'll see. So, as I've talked about, these tires when you were on a side hill, and if it's a little bit icy, it slides. And I have had a couple of very hair-raising experiences. Let's hope there's, it's not that steep here, but steeper than what it looks. Just puts a smile on your face. <laughs> oh, geez. Challenge I may be faced with is it's really, really icy. It's probably, oh, I'd say it's like, I don't know. I would say it's probably 30 degrees out, maybe. A little bit colder, I'm not sure. So what I've tried to do <laughs> over the time, I don't know if you can see that, on the, there's little marks that I have on there that I align with this door. And as you can see, my ramps are moving, so I have got to start the truck and drive ahead. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, the truck has not been started yet, too. I left it sit outside last night. We'll do it the easy way to get her started. Push on the brake, push on the button. Let her warm up. I'm on, baby. Start up for us, start up for us, you can do it. There we go. 
Betsy Lou is running. We'll let that idle just a couple minutes. Be back soon. I absolutely love how well this Triton trailer actually supports this shirt. It does make some funny noises sometimes when you go up, but everything seems to be just fine. I really had absolutely no problems with it. Thought I'd quickly show you me strapping down the trailer. Uh, I just, I do use uh, just a strap in the front and a strap in the back. Sherp actually recommends that you go over the tires and latch each tire down. I do not do that just because of the trailer design. It's much easier. Thought I'd give you a quick little picture of what it looks like when the Sherp's being pulled. Just exiting out my driveway. Kind of interesting here. Look on your left hand side. Here's my neighbor with the dog. Oh, he was all excited, barking away. And no, I am not driving this fast. I just have it on uh, very fast speed. I think it's 20 times the normal speed. Going out on one more quick little run. There's plenty of ice out here. I just actually met someone and uh, gave him a quick little ride. Just should have done a video, screwed that up. Oh well, live and learn. So our nights are probably still well below freezing. Uh, not a hell of a lot of water here, depth, but. I did not break through before. I wouldn't expect that I would now either. doesn't like turning too much on blacktop or concrete, that type of thing. Again, with that drag steering, it, it just doesn't like to do it. Just me jumping up on the trailer again. You can kind of hear some noises. Those noises are actually the ramps moving. I don't believe it's the trailer. But I just think that looks so smooth. Hey, see you soon.